everybody. Hello again everybody. Uh, in last video I showed you how to test and score your regression model and I told you I'm going to talk about root mean uh, square error and what does that mean actually. Here let's do, uh, I'm going to show you some polynomial regression and there I'll talk about what is root mean, is, is, uh, root mean square error and also how uh, you can sometimes overfit and how can you check for that. Let's see. So here, instead of you know opening a file as usual, I'm gonna paint. I'm gonna paint my own data set. For painting, I'm just gonna say put. I'm gonna say one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, I just had ten data points. I'll just add one more here to make it look a bit more. Now. I'm going to connect this to something called polynomial regression from the education package. If you don't have it, just use add-ons up here, add-ons, and then add the educational package. Now, let's check this in the data table, see what's actually happening. You have two coefficients for that, right? But let's open it up. So, this is the degree of the polynomial. If you have degree 2, degree 3, degree 4, that means it will take the features, first square them, cube them, let's increase it. As we increase, we see we are fitting our data better and better and better and better and better, right? Up to 10, let's say. But is this a good one or not? Let's do a linear regression also here. We'll use linear regression as our learner, right? And these are the coefficients. You see some of the co coefficients are too small or very huge, right? Coefficient of the x and x squared, x third, x ten. This is not good, right? This is called overfitting when we go up to ten. But if we start with number like two or three, let's go to two, two, do we have overfitting? It's no, you see? So when we increase the ten, it's going to fit the training data set perfectly fine. But how about the testing data set? It's going to, you know, not be that good on the test data set. So what's the definition of overfitting? Overfitting means your model is performing very well on your training data set, but it's not good or it's not working well on your testing data set. Let's go and do this in a different way. I'm gonna remove these things, right? Sorry, it's just a pick, remove and remove. Here, Let's do a select columns again, see what's going on. I'm going to put my y as my target value, okay? Feature is x and y is the target value, which is not that realistic, but okay, let's just stick to it. Now, I'm going to use something called data sampler here to show you. So as I showed you, you're going to sample your data set and take 80% for training, like 70% uh, for 80% uh, for training and 20% for testing. Here, I'm going to do... 80% for training, like eight data points basically. And let's say sample the data. I'm gonna give this to test and score, the sample data. And I'm gonna reconnect this, and instead of that, I'm gonna say the remaining data set as the test, okay? Does that make sense? I gave 80% which is the sample data as training and remaining as test data set. Now I'm gonna connect these to our polynomial regression. This thing is not gonna work well because I have to connect to the data sampler, right? Now we don't have a learner yet, so I'm gonna give it a linear regression learning model, right? Let's check what's going on here, it's not working. Up, sample data. I gave it the data sample as data learner. Let's see what's going wrong here. It should completely work, but sometimes it happens. Okay, our learner, learner, number of the folds exceeds the. Okay, I'm go and the fold. Okay, I'm sorry. We are going to say test and train data and test on the test data, okay? We have only this, test and train 
and test and test. Okay. Now, as you see here, let's check. Let's stay on training data set and here I'll open this up and I'll put both tables side by side while so you can see while increasing this sorry while increasing this you see what's happening now look at the RMSC value here okay okay you see RMSC is starting to go down as I go up that's perfect right on training data set it's very nice even RMS equal to zero at eight, nine, ten, so it just stays zero. Now let's go back to one, zero, even one, let's say, and check it on the test data set, see what's happening. Okay, this is RMSE again, root mean squared error, two, you see, three, it's going up. So it's not performing at all good on the test data set. This is what we call overfitting in machine learning. So whenever you have a data and you're just increasing your, uh, your polynomial degree and you're happy that this is awesome, it's fitting everything, like here, wow, it's awesome, amazing, but <laughs> check it on the test data set. So this is called overfitting and uh, you have to make sure you're checking for that because imagine if you're trying to you know, just give a, a price of a house and you're overfitting, you may end up with the wrong number, okay? So in this video, we covered polynomial regression up to now. Uh, just one more thing I wanna show you, there's something called gradient descent in machine learning. I just gonna open one of the housing data sets, you know, housing pretty quickly from my desktop. I have it in the talk and I called it House train, that's CSV. Let's find it. Data sets. And you can find this. You can find this data online in my GitHub. I'll just post it again. But in the first video, I posted my GitHub page. So now let's select the columns again, as always. Feature one. We're not we're gonna filter that. Future three is our target value from the video which I showed you how to do this. Now let's do this and put it on gradient descent. Something okay, what's gradient descent? So there's something called cost function, which if you want I can make a video and explain it to you on paper with pen and paper. Uh, what we do in machine learning, we wanna just definitely minimize the cost function. That minimization, you can do it with gradient descent. Update your weight values in a for loop till you, your, you know, your cost function doesn't change anymore, which is the gradient of the cost function, right? Now, I'm gonna show you how it works. So let's just run. See, it starts and tries to find the global minimum. The cost is reducing, right? Your cost function for just feature zero, right? It's just going, let me increase the speed. It's a bit slow because I'm also recording the video. So this is called gradient descent, right? I just wanted to show you what's happening here. Now, if I connect these to a data table, you're gonna see coefficients will come out. It's just finding the optimized coefficient, which is one of them is intercept, the other one is the, for the linear regression we are doing. Now let's see how we can do gradient descent and check the test and score. I'm going to give this to test and score from the date and selected columns. And then I'm going to do something called stochastic gradient descent, which is from the orange itself, not from educational. And if we do cross validation over here, it's going to give you an RMSE using stochastic gradient descent. So you can change this thing. So L2 and L1 uh, regularization methods, you can regularize it. You can say, okay, I'm an L2, increase the regularization this time and see what's happening. Is it gonna change our MSE or not? And if you want, I can you know, make videos and explain to you what, is this, what are these linear regressions and L2 regularization. So basically L2 regularization just regularizes, you know, tries to uh, avoid the maximization of the weight vectors, okay? Um, 
I think for this video it's, it's enough. It's 12 o'clock. And it's 12 o'clock. Again, my <laughs> computer. And if you have any questions and if you want me to cover any things you see here and you didn't understand, just shoot me a comment. Write it a comment. I'll try to make a video and explain it to you. I hope you enjoyed this video and enjoy machine learning. See you in the next video.